Sen havuz bozsan oğlum. Tamam. Okey. Hello from a 3000 year old city in Kyrgyzstan called Osh. I'm going to explore the city today. Uh, I'm currently in the back streets of Osh and I will make my way to the center, check out some tourist hotspots, see what we can find on the way, maybe try some food because actually it's my last day here. So it's my last day of eating Kyrgyz food. So I will make the best out of it. It's pretty hot today which uh, makes it a bit harder but I started off a bit later in the afternoon to avoid the heat so I guess it should be all right but uh, tomorrow I'm flying to another country so my last day here in Kyrgyzstan let's explore Aralash uh, please uh, small one uh, okay 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 that's good this one this one Aralash, 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 da. My last Aralash in Kyrgyzstan. I have to do it. It's a video for uh, <laughs> my friends. <laughs> so Aralash is uh, Maxim and Chelop. Ah, спасибо. How much is it? Uh, how much is a uh, sum? Ah, uh, shnos, uh, Okay. Okay, sixteen sums. Yeah, thank you. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. For you, for you, okay. Okay, thank you, thank you, bye. All right, the last Aralash in Kyrgyzstan. Let me find a shady spot and give it a try. It's been a few weeks that I tried it. Let's see if I still appreciate it, or maybe even more now. Yeah, I guess the one in Karakol was a bit better, but it's not bad overall. Let me sip this. They say it helps against the heat. We are in the furniture street. All I can see is uh, shops that are selling furniture here. So I guess they're like really organized and have all furniture here. You can see here furniture on the other side, furniture everywhere, furniture here as well. Everything homemade, no stuff from IKEA here. <laughs> everything seems uh, legit, you know, like real wood and everything. Not sure what she's announcing there. So after walking for 10 minutes to Furniture Street, we are in Carpet Street now. So we have lots of carpets here, carpets, carpets. Everywhere you look, there are carpets. Very beautiful. Everywhere carpets. More carpets. And as I said before, tomorrow I'm heading to another destination. You will see and you will have to get where. You will see in, other, in the next video. And it seems without really knowing it, I ended up at Jaima Bazaar or something. This is just on my way. Very interesting. All these bazaars are usually interesting. Mm -hmm. 
So the traffic lights don't seem to work, which makes it extra hard to cross this super busy street. But uh, let's see how it goes. Follow the locals, I guess. All right, it worked out fine. So we have a three floor uh, yurt here. I don't think that's like traditional stuff or, and it's called Alimbek.com museum. But it seems pretty closed. And Suleiman 2 should be somewhere there. Let's check it out. So that right there is the rock of Suleiman 2. But I'm wondering if I can get there right now. Probably I need to pay some kind of entrance and it's a bit late maybe. I have no idea. It's, oh no, the door seems open. Let's go, let's go. The only World Heritage Site in Kyrgyzstan, apparently. Rules of Conduct on the Territory of Museum. Well, there's a whole list. Uh, visitors are advised not to drink alcoholic beverage on the territory of the complex. I actually heard about that, that it's very disrespectful to go and get some beers up there, even though it's probably a nice sunset spot or something. But uh, it's... Uh, religious you know it's a muslim monument or yeah some kind of so don't drink beer there it's very disrespectful but i'm not planning to drink any beers there so so i just went to ask and apparently the museum is closed but the Suleiman 2 is still open just need to figure out how to get there uh sorry is this uh, to Suleiman 2 so here? Okay, okay. Rahmat. It was not very clear how to get there, so you need to go and follow the petroglyphs or petroglyphs apparently. I can see the Suleiman too already. Up there. So we have quite a steep uh, walk ahead of us, but uh, let's do it. Okay, I think we're officially on our way to Sulaiman Tour. Cheers to that. The only World Heritage Site in Kyrgyzstan. And I visited it on my last day here. What a beautiful exit, I would say. Cheers to that. <laughs> Okay. Follow the rules of fire security. First time I see any mention of fire security in Kyrgyzstan. <laughs> or any security whatsoever. <laughs> so I just googled what this place actually is. Sulaiman Toh. It's actually, uh, well, the only World Heritage Site in Kyrgyzstan but it's a pilgrimage site and I guess mostly for women from what I read because uh, the shrine of Sul Sulaiman or Solomon uh, is up there 
and apparently they go on top of the shrine or something and they pray and if the, they pray there uh, they will have healthy children so I guess it's mostly for women but maybe men as well but from what I see I see lots of women here I saw some men but m most of them are women and I see a whole bunch of people coming and they're almost all women so yeah it's kind of a pilgrimage site it's a very uh, sacred place for Muslims it also marks the midpoint of the ancient uh, Silk Road, apparently. Very interesting stuff. Uh, hmm. But uh, I'm glad I chose to uh, climb this mountain or these stairs in the afternoon or in the evening because it's pretty hot already. Right, we reached the top. And it's pretty crowded here. But what a beautiful view over the city of Osh. So if you keep following the path along the rocks, you will see some caves. And actually, I saw a really small one. People were like crawling in it. I didn't check it, but there's a huge one in front of me. Right there. And there's actually a path leading there. So maybe I will make my way there and have a look. So I reached uh, the big cave here. And uh, there's actually a sign in front of it. And I thought like, what is the name? Something with here and then home. But it makes more sense if you do it like this. And then you can see Ashen Cave. That makes more sense. Some uh, funny dude turned the sign around. <laughs> oh yeah. Definitely some traces from ancient life here. As you can see here. Talant Navruza Bars. Uh, what else do we have? I don't know, Rita. Uh, and even some fire uh, holes. Some people made fire here. Must be cool to spend the night here actually. Wow, this cave is really cool. There are some holes in the, in the, in the top as well. Huh. It's the first time I'm in, a, I'm in a cave, I think. I'm in a cave like this. I went to like deep, deep, deep underground caves, but never a cave like this. This is how our ancestors used to live, I guess. To protect themselves from wild animals, from the weather. That was basically the only thing they had. Huh. And I can imagine there were quite some wild animals here back then. Now, not so many anymore. <laughs> All right, I think I'm done here at Sulaiman 2. It's uh, very impressive actually. Uh, the rock formations are uh, unique. You have some caves, you have some viewpoints. Uh, it's not too hard of a hike. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice actually. Uh, a good way to end my uh, trip here in Kyrgyzstan. Uh, yeah, it's a bit with mixed feelings, you know. I've been here five weeks and uh, after five weeks, you start to feel at home a bit. And now I will make my home somewhere else. <laughs> so, yeah, I will uh, probably maybe make one more stop here in Osh now. Go to eat some lagman at a good restaurant where I have been before. Uh, and that will be my final supper here, the last supper in Kyrgyzstan. So, 
let me get there maybe I will grab a taxi I will see if they give me a good price I take a taxi if they overcharge me I walk <laughs> or I try to haggle get a lower price and then go with a taxi <laughs> maybe I'll film it we'll see Here, this one. Here. Yeah. Ah, teller. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So he's using the counter. Okay, okay. Okay, Rahmat. <laughs> I wear the seat belt. No. Yeah, no, not yet. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> it's a uh, красиво, eh? Yeah. Красиво. Thank you very much. 163. Okay. Can you um, can you change? No. So he's changing some money for me, and actually they're using a counter. This kind of taxi. They're using an application to count, and it's 160 from the center to yeah the suburbs pretty much, which is a good price. Yeah. Yeah. 300. Okay. Uh, it's ah, it's okay, it's okay, yeah. it's okay. Okay, Rahmat, Rahmat. Thank you very much. Bye. All right, quick refresh in the hotel, and then we will find some lagman, the last supper in Kyrgyzstan. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, let's go for the last lagman from Kyrgyzstan in the, this restaurant right here. They have lagman with beef, but um, they don't speak English here. This is a very local restaurant, but it's always full of people, so I'm sure the food is good. And I tried it already, it's super good. So, a lagman would be the last one. All right, let me show you the lagman. Mm. Finish this. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. All right. That was it for the last supper here in Kyrgyzstan. See you in another country in another video. Peace.